So this sample, it's a very, very interesting sample. It's arsenic. This is a dewer of liquid nitrogen and you can see that the nitrogen is evaporating from the top. That's brilliant. <laughs> the per stands for perborate and the S sil stands for silicate. Oh, oh, it's on your camera. One of my colleagues who used to work with it described it as evil. The phosphorus is oxidised in the air to generate a nice P for phosphorus. Because it has a coating of oxide on the surface. Now it's packed in argon because argon is very, very inert. It doesn't react with anything. Ever since this, I get quite excited. I can see lots and lots of lines in the blue and the green region, and these are all specific to the individual atoms. This one just has more data than you could possibly want. You can see the different grain sizes. And you can imagine the periodic table a bit like a family photograph. Woohoo! And there she blows!